Hello and welcome to Parent Corner. My name is Shelby Simmons and I'll be your host for this session on preventing cyberbullying. For those of you who have children who are diagnosed with ADHD, are on the autism spectrum, or are very young, the idea of allowing your children online for school or to communicate with friends may be intimidating. In this session, you will learn some of the features of the most common operating systems and internet browsers that may help you keep your child safe and enable them to get the most out of their online experience. If your child can use standard tools like the computer keyboard and mouse effectively, then assistive hardware devices like a joystick or specialty keyboard are not necessary. When using a desktop or laptop computer featuring the Microsoft Windows operating system, there are several simple changes that your operating system and browser software can make to help your child get the most out of the Internet. First, let's have Microsoft Windows customize accessibility features. You're going to start with your Start menu, then click Control Panel, and you'll see Ease of Access. You can let Windows suggest settings, which will walk you through an accessibility wizard. Here are some of the options for customization and a brief walkthrough of the wizard. And you can see with each area of possible disability or difficulty, you can select a statement that applies to you or your child. You would want to complete this wizard prior to your child using the computer or using the internet. When you're finished with the wizard, you would get recommended settings and you can select which settings are important to you. And then apply. And if these settings are suitable, you'll just click OK. And you can see how my mouse pointer has enlarged. Again, review this feature prior to your child using the computer and select the best settings if any are necessary. For children of any age with ADHD, removing additional images may reduce distractions. Second, the operating system will allow you to create user accounts, limit the amount of time your child spends on the computer, and what programs they can access. Let's go back to the control panel, which remember is starting from the start menu. You can access the user accounts from start, control panel, and then user accounts. If your child does not already have an account, you would add a user account. I've already created an account, which is a standard user account, meaning that the child will not be able to change the Windows operating system settings. Now, I can create a password, change the picture, or set up parental controls. You will need to sign in to your Windows Live Family Safety in order to set up parental controls. If you do not have a Windows Live ID, you can sign up for one here or sign in to your account. Let's get a quick overview of how Family Safety works and the different items that you can actually change with the program. It's going to be a web-based program and it will allow you to monitor what your children are doing, filter out items that you find to be inappropriate, and give you activity reports so you'll know what websites your children have visited or tried to visit, the time they've spent on the computer, the games and programs they've used, and you'll see where your limitations that you've considered with your children and explained to them in advance how they are affecting or not affecting your child's computer usage. For more detailed information, 
continue this lesson and you'll see the accessibility features of Windows explained in more detail as well as additional tutorials. Next, let's head to an internet browser. A browser is a program like Internet Explorer, Mozilla Firefox, or Google Chrome that gives you access to the internet. Let's access a browser now. This is the icon for Internet Explorer, for Google Chrome, and for Mozilla Firefox. Internet Explorer is one of the most common browsers. Most browsers have an address or search bar, and this is where the address bar is in Internet Explorer. You'd be able to type in an address such as google.com or search. You may also access a search site such as Google. Most browsers also give you the opportunity to customize your experience, the things that you will see, hear, and be able to do on the websites you visit. In one of the most common browsers, Internet Explorer, you can adjust security settings and your start page by clicking the Tools icon, which will help you access the Tools menu, and then click Internet Options. A new box will pop up. You can change your home page, delete browsing history, uncheck this box if you want to be able to view history that your children are using. You can change the accessibility settings and you can change the security settings. Privacy settings or use parental controls. In this instance because I'm a computer administrator there are no parental control settings to view however the parental control settings can be set up if you are accessing the internet through one of your children's accounts. You can also decide categories that you do not want to be able to see or do not want your children to be able to see. And set approved sites. You would need to set up a password to use this feature. Once you have everything set up, now you have to figure out where to send your child online. This is a lot like selecting a place to play or to eat. You want some place clean and wholesome that provides what you and your children need. If your child has special needs, you will also need to be careful to see if the literal translation of the content or the quick scan version of the website will give your child the right impression. Once your child is comfortable, remain nearby to monitor his progress, answer questions, and resolve any issues. If you are letting your child access a social networking site or app like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or others, you should be actively involved in the setup. Know the password, the privacy settings, and make sure you set and maintain rules for access. Most sites do not allow children under the age of 13. However, children with special needs may function at an emotional level that is much younger than their actual chronological age. So make sure that they are ready for the speed and nature of social networking. CommonSenseMedia.org and our internet safety website, CCIS, Dot CCSDTitle1.org have more information on this new digital lifestyle. The following websites have additional information on evaluating websites. The Title I office is located at 200B South Jeffries Boulevard, Walterboro, South Carolina. 29488, just behind the old CCSD Technology Building in the Floyd Buckner Title I Office and Parent Center. Come visit us during our normal business hours of 8 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. 
call, or email us using or keep in touch via Facebook or Twitter using the information in our links. Thank you for watching our videos. Click the link to visit our YouTube channel if you would like to see more videos, and we hope to see you soon for an Uplift event.